we're trying to do is create a ceiling mounted linear actuated TV mount. And we're gonna do that by using the L channel here, probably about 22 inches deep because this is a pretty long actuator. It might've gone a little too big, but 22 inches using the L bracket to mount it up into the ceiling rafter where we'll use the round bar to create a hinge in the front that'll connect the square tube so that will hinge with a tab that'll connect to the linear actuator that'll be mounted to the back of the L channel. And then the smaller tube will allow us to telescope the size of TV that we're gonna leverage. So we'll drill some, drill a single hole here and a series of different holes here to adjust for the different height capabilities. So probably anywhere from a 10 inch TV to a 40 inch TV, that'll give you the depth and then we're basically using the steel sheet to create the mounting bracket to the back of the TV. Hopefully all together utilizing a momentary switch in either direction. It'll allow this thing to close up or come out from underneath the storage unit. Got everything marked off. We've got 22 inches to cut the L channel for mounting eight inches of additional telescoping for inside the square tube that is also eight inches. It's gonna get mounted to the linear actuator. We've got a one inch that we're gonna cut here as a hinge, it's a small hinge, but it'll be enough because we're gonna put tabs on either side and a tab here. So it'll be very taut once everything is used by the actuator. So right now we're just gonna to get to cutting. built a jig to simulate what the rafters would be like underneath of the RV. Now granted, this is a lot deeper. The RV rafters are gonna be shorter and they're aluminum studded, but now that we've got all of our pieces cut and we've got the jig made, this is going to be the mounting bracket. Of course, everything is upside down right now. So what we drilled out or marked for drilling rather is a few different spots here. The front, which I've also measured six inches off of the front. The reason I did that is so that you'd have enough depth to watch your TV and it wouldn't be sitting right up near the front door compartment. So our first mount point, the second mount point I'm choosing on this location because of the size of this one. In the future, I'd like to put it at the end, but this is where we're gonna need the tab to be welded on. So we're gonna put it right here for now. So I'm gonna get start drilling and we'll move on to the next piece. Now we're at the part where I've cleaned up the metal so we've got a good surface to weld to because we're gonna to need to weld in the back and as well as this hinge up front. So we're gonna start welding right here at this guy and then we'll then proceed to adding a tab in the back and starting to actually see something new. So I welded on the L bracket that's gonna mount the linear actuator in the back. And now I'm adding the tab to the front of the moving arm. So this will be where the second one goes. So I'm just gonna tack this on real quick. Now I've flipped everything right side up. So this would, it would be exactly how it'd be laid out if you were mounting it up underneath the rafter in the RV. Those two L brackets I've mounted and uh, screwed in the actuator to. So we've got a tab here and a tab back here. And that tab is connected to the arm that'll come down to hold the actual TV. For now, we're about to weld the hinge. I made two tabs, one on each side to weld onto the square bar that'll act as a hinge for this thing to fall down.
Watch your eyes. So like life, nothing usually goes as planned the first time around. I had to move the back bracket slightly forward simply because we had an issue where we weren't getting full extension and I wasn't getting full retraction. So by moving this up forward, I was able to get further extension out of the arm. And then I moved the bracket, the tab that we had on the actual arm itself forward closer to the hinge and also angling it at a 45, that allowed it to pull it up tighter. So let me show you how it works. That gives me way past 90. Allows you to reach behind the TV if you need something. And then of course we can fully retract. Everything's just tack welded together. I'll finish welding everything, clean it up, tighten things, and it'll even be even smoother. We still have the telescoping mount that we're gonna build, so that'll be up next. We're approaching the final stages. I've disconnected the arm from the assembly. Basically cut a six by six plate to mount the TV. I've used L channels to act as the hinge. Now they're not cut the size because they're going to get trimmed down. Once I tack weld them to the actual flat plate, then I'll trim them back. So they'll be a lot smaller just to act as a hinge. I've already gone ahead and added the telescoping piece, drilled a hole on the outside tube. I've only put a single hole in the inside, but this will be where I can put multiple holes going up inside so that I can raise or lower the TV once it's completely out. As you can see now that it's reassembled with the actuator attached, once I trim this back on both top and bottom, it'll certainly rotate further. You just have a pin in temporary as a hinge it. But this should actually now look like a TV. All right, we are down to the final, final stages. I've cleaned up my welds, I've given everything a nice sanding and a good paint job. And now what I wanted to show you is that I was trying to come up with a way to create some type of bushings inside of each of these hinges so that when we put the screws in, we won't have metal on metal contact. So I've taken basically four gauge cable that I have in the garage, cut it to size, and we're just gonna use that as a nice rubber bushing preventing that metal on metal contact that we don't want to have. We don't want any squeaking, bouncing. So basically, I know this is a little bit oversized, but when we actually put our final screw in there, we'll have a nice rubber surface to twist the TV on. And we'll be able to, of course, tighten that to keep it in place. <laughs> 